All right, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Before I get started, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rechakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who lead teaching real well. Love and honor to my fellow occupants, word and true faith and sincerity across the four corners. Shalom, peace and blessings to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the Men and Doctrine of Great Millstone. This is the brother Yadav and GMS Land Church coming with another, another lesson through the Spirit. And um, I'm just up. Uh, right now in the morning, and uh, just doing some reading, and uh, was reading uh this uh chapter in First Peter, and uh, this is a great chapter, man. So, um, what I'm planning on doing is just going through the chapter. It's uh 25 verses long, and just going through the chapter, reading it, and um, expounding on it, um. That spirit moves on me and uh Lord willing can bring out some edification uh in doing so. So um this is first Peter chapter two, verse one. Wherefore laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. You know, and um you know, that's one thing, you know, just continuing to um, be in the ministry and continuing my own personal journey, you know, uh, in the flesh, um, you know, fighting a good fight of faith. Uh, it's a process, man. You know, as it's, as it's written here, lay, uh, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings. No, just there's certain things that, you know, we all have to shed, you know, in order to grow. And, uh, you know, just as as newborn uh, babes, you know, they desire, they they grow off of uh, the basics, man, off of the milk, you know. So, you know, that's, you know, how we grow, um, you know, especially being new in the ministry, new in the faith, man, you know. Um, verse three. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, you know, if 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 you tasted the sincere milk, you know, of Yahweh Bashmi you know, uh the most high that's mercy, man, you know. To whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of the most high and precious, speaking of Yahweh <clears throat> Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shah Mashiach. See, so, you know, just, you know, touching on again the, uh, you know, the order that came through in the Spirit, you know, uh, through Elder Apostle Har about, you know, brothers, you know, just being in the spirit of being more productive, man, you know, that goes into us being lively stones. You know, in which these lively stones are building a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, you know, that we can continue to offer up these sacrifices, you know, being the testimonies, you know, um, uh, you know, in our trek, in our spiritual journey, that, you know, these testimonies have been acceptable, Lord willing, to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, by the sacrifice of our Lord and our Messiah, Yahweh Shai, you see? Verse 6. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, behold, I lay in Sion a chief cornerstone, elect precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. See, and these are important, you know, words to uh to stand on. You know what I'm saying? Um uh, the chief cornerstone being Yahweh Shai, in which, you know, spiritually that's the uh the stone or the spirit in which um this this holy tabernacle is being uh, built upon, you know, th of course, through him and through his sacrifice, you see. And then also those that believe on Yahweh Shai shall not be confounded, man. Verse seven, unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. You see, so ultimately it's up to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, whether, you know, 
he puts his spirit on someone to, you know, truly get it, you know, and to truly uh, uh, see and understand things for the way they are, you know, the way they have been, and the way they will be, or if they've just been appointed to, um, you know, to get offended at, uh, at the word, you know, at the Heavenly Father's word, at the testimony of our Messiah, Yahweh Shai, and also offended at his coming, at his, at, 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 at him um, returning to, uh, to judge, you know. Uh, continuing on, First Peter chapter two verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of Him who have called you out of a out of darkness into His marvelous light. See that chosen generation. You know, uh, Habakkuk two. You know, the vision is for an appointed time. You know, but uh, uh, you know, but wait for it because you know when once those visions you know and prophecies so to speak uh come they shall not tarry you know um continuing on which in time past were not a people but are now the people of the most high which had not obtained mercy but now have obtained mercy because you know because we as a people were uh completely disconnected from our heavenly father yahweh and we're, you know, completely put into the uh, uh, hands and control of, of our enemies, man. You know, Edom, Esau. You know, to the point that we didn't even know, you know, that we were that we were the biblical Israelites. But now, through mercy, through you know, the spirit of, of, of prophecy, you know, uh, 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 you know, we now have access again to, to be and to stand as those, as those people, as the chosen, you know, uh, uh, seed and lineage of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Continuing on, verse 11. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may be your good works, which they shall behold, glorify the Most High in the day of visitation. See, so, you know, as, as a, a you know, we're different out here, man. You know, going to being holy and being separate, being a a, a kudash, man. You know, being holy separate. Uh, um, the world is gonna have an evil eye towards us, man. You know what I'm saying? But you know, as it's written here, in the, uh, the second chapter of uh, the first book of Peter, you know, have that conversation honest. You know, among the Gentiles, whether to be, uh, um, you know the 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 actual Gentiles, you know the other the heathens and other nations of the spiritual, you know the spiritual Gentiles, man. You know what I'm saying the uh, um, uh, you know the, the two thirds of our people, you know who um are Gentiles because of their um, transgressions against the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see, um, continuing on, First Peter two and thirteen, submit yourselves to every ordinance. Of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. See, so just, you know, we just doing the bid, man. We just buying time, man. You know, um, verse 15. For so is the will of the most high that with well doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. You see, so the most high Yahweh by Shri Yahweh is going to justify justify us and what we're saying in the end, you know, as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of the most high. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear the most high, honor the king. You see, so, you know, being free in the spirit, meaning we, you know, we understand what's truly right and what's truly wrong, you know, but not using that as a, a means to, uh, you know, tiptoe the line, so to speak, man. You know what I'm saying? And definitely not using that uh, any type of understanding as a cloak to do to do evil, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why it says honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear the most high, honor the king, the king. The ultimate king is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, and the 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 uh the uh, uh appointed king under him is Yahweh Shai. Uh verse 18. Servants be subject to your masters with all fear, 
not only to the good and gentle, but also to the forward. Okay, so, you know, men move differently, man. You know what I'm saying? Some men are going to be more gentle. Some men are going to be more stern and, you know, more upfront. But it's all good because, once again, we're all of the same body. Verse 19, for this is thankworthy if a man for conscience towards the most high endure grief, suffering wrongfully. You see, so sometimes, you know, just like Yahweh Shai, you know, Yahweh Shai, you know, of course he came to, um, you know, receive judgment, you know, and to, you know, to be uh, sacrificed I mean, put to death for, you know, his own personal transgressions and past lives. But he also did it uh, for the sins, you know, ultimately of the nation you know what i'm saying but in this particular um uh, portion of the of the story you know for the uh for the elect you know uh continuing on verse 20 for what glory is it if when ye be buffeted for your faults ye shall take it patiently but if when ye do well and suffer for it ye take it patiently there this is acceptable with the most high For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps, who did not sin, neither was God found in his mouth, who when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. See, so, you know, even how we... um you know, take our correction, you know what I'm saying? You know, whether it come uh, through men, through the body, or whether it come, you know, more so from, you know, you know the heavens, you know. It's a, a, a big part in not only your growth, you know, uh, particularly in the ministry, but just in your, your mentality and mindset towards uh, uh, prophecy uh, as a whole and... You know how this is all prophesied for us to uh, uh, have our faith tried, you know, and have our knowledge and wisdom and understanding tried, you know, through situations that we go through. Your your mentality and the way that you um, uh, endure certain things you go to speaks a lot to your spiritual maturity, you know. Um, First Peter 2 and 24 who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. See, so going to Yahweh Shai being crucified on a tree on the plank, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, through those stripes laid upon him, we were healed or we, we are being healed. And finishing out 1 Peter 2 and 25, for ye... Whereas sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls, in which Yahweh Shai is the the uh, the ultimate bishop or overseer of the flock. You know that's why he's the shepherd. You know, and that's why the scriptures speak about you know the followers of Yahweh Shai being the sheep. You know, and him being the the ultimate bishop and ultimate shepherd, saying and stating correctly that the sheep shall hear his voice, man, and follow him whithersoever he go. Okay, because Amen. Our Lord is quickly uh, re uh, uh, returning, man. You know, he's going to come as a thief in the night. And for those, you know, Lord willing, I and, you know, the listeners uh, who take heed to to you know, to these lessons, Lord willing, you know, we are of the number uh, to be found to be um, found for salvation. You know, and it's all through, uh, you know, faith and belief in Yahweh Shai being our Lord and Savior and also, faith in these uh, words being the, the true words, you know, inspired from the heavens, man, you know, to be a, 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 a scribe and written down for us to stand and have faith on, you know, um, through all through through the end days, man, you know.